and welcome to Tasha Tuesday. Now, we've all been in this situation. Either we get our hearts broken or we break someone else's heart. It's a part of life. It helps us find the one, as they say. But no matter what end of the breakup you're on, it still really hurts. So this is my survival guide on how to survive a breakup. Let's get started. Number one, a playlist of breakup songs. Music is used to express ourselves and putting sad songs on after a breakup is an excellent way to let other people know exactly how you're feeling. It lets other people know that we're going through a rough time. Remember to let the music get more upbeat as it goes along. It always helps me when my playlist starts off sad and then gradually gets more uplifting. Two, a sad movie. Sad movies let us cry without any questions asked. At the beginning of a breakup, it's really hard to talk about your feelings and it's just easier to cry them out. So a sad movie is a perfect way to do this. So chuck on any movie that makes you cry or a movie that is well known to make other people cry if you're not so much of a film crier and you're done. I would personally recommend Bridge to Terabithia or Iron Giant. They make me cry every time. Three, what food goes better with a sad movie? Ice cream, which is another essential on how to survive a breakup. Ice cream, it tastes delicious, it's cold, and can be eaten straight from the container if needed. Now I'm not saying eat your feelings out, I'm just saying that ice cream is a great way to help you when you're feeling down. Or you want to celebrate. Or on your period. The point is, ice cream is great, and when you're really sad, people won't tell you off for eating it. So, enjoy it while you can. Number four, a friend. A friend, or at least someone you can talk to, is really helpful in surviving a breakup. I've been there for my best friend's breakup and she's been there for me and it's really good to just talk about it. And the best part is you can talk crap about your ex and laugh about all the annoying things they did. Trust me, it'll make you feel so much better. Five, lastly, a distraction. You have to let yourself do things that keep your mind off of them and soon enough you won't even need the distractions, they'll just be off your mind completely. Some of the things I do to help me survive a breakup is reread my favourite book series, start a new book series, play video games or my personal favourite, retail therapy. And that's the video for this week guys. I hope it helps any of you out there going through a breakup. Leave a comment below on what your number one tip is on how to survive a breakup. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here, don't forget to click that red subscribe button because I post videos every Tuesday. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you next week. Bye.